Welcome back to the channel guys. This is a video of our massive haul that we collected from the Wigan Invertebrate Show. The first one that's been held at Wigan. Hopefully more to come. We picked up a large Exo Terror from Chris over at Creatures from the North and a Hexagon Tank as well, as along with a lot of dry stock from Leah over at Unusual Pets. And we counted about 40 different animals that we collected that day as well. So it was a big one. First up is our Spa Spiders mystery box. We bought this at BTS. A friend collected and delivered it to us at the Wigan show. So first up we've got the Chilobraki Huahini, which is the Asian fawn tarantula little sling. The Megalo... Nope, can't say that one. The Emrobustum, aka the Colombian giant red leg. This one's a little beauty. Colours coming through already so nicely. A little bit of a growing on sling. And then finally we've got the Acanthoscoria geniculata, which is the Brazilian whiny. Confirmed female. Absolute bargain. This was a £30 box. Next we've got these from Phil over at Incredible Inverts. We've got the Moncentrophus Balfouri, communal of four little guys. I'm really looking forward to watching these hunt together, work together and build together. And the Therophosa Apophysis, which is the pink foot goliath. Love its markings already, with those little pink toes. Awesome pickup. We collected a pair of jumping spiders over from Lucy at Sphinx Bugs and Bits, a male and a female Isla de la Juventus. The female's got beautiful orange markings and the male is the typical black and white. Both really cute little guys. Really handy they came in these tubs as well. Saves messing about on the first night having to do rehouses. got this little guy as a gift from Spiderling over at the Wild Teas community. A um, little Afanapelma Encinos. Really cute little guy. Ate really well on the first night as well. Next we've got the Spotted Fire Millipedes. We saw these at the spider shop table. Absolutely beautiful little things. Thought I might get three. Once we got them home and checked them out, there was actually four in the tub so got a little freebie really can't get over the colourings on these guys. So vibrant. <laughs> I could really stare at these all day long and just watch them, they're so pretty. Anyway, moving on. We went and visited Steve's Animal Arc table and picked up three of these Geo Cesarami Ruxi, which is the uh, rainbow vampire crabs. Beautiful little things, they all look like they've got smiley faces on the back. Uh, we got three because that's the best ratio to keep them in. One male, two females. Keep everybody happy. Such cute little guys. We went and visited our friend Michael over at Mantis NI and picked up these three little Malaysian leaf catidids. A little different to the usual ones that you see, they don't get quite as big. Um, really cute. I'm really interesting, wasn't expecting to get these to be honest. Um, really good price as well, got all three for £28 I think it was. Um, thought they'd be like stick insects to be honest, but um, they bounce. That was that was new and interesting when we were rehousing them. <laughs> Can't remember what stall these were from and didn't think I'd be coming home with pet cockroaches, but here we are. Um, hissing cockroaches, we've got five. I, I didn't expect them to hiss quite so loud and um, I've got the audio turned off so you can't hear it but I did genuinely cack myself when this happened for the first time <laughs> I'm a little more used to it now um, there's one male and four females in this collection uh, perfect breeding start up the colors are so vibrant when I finally get it out of the tub and it stopped hissing at me and um, I found out they can actually get depression if they're kept on their own so I'm glad I got five um, and they start to recognise the humans after a week and will no longer hiss if you're nice to them. So I'm looking forward to spending quite a lot of time with these and seeing how friendly they can actually get. Um, yeah. We met up with a couple of my friends while we were there, um, Ted and Jade, that we know through the Mantis hobby. Um, and my son's really interested in ants, so he's given two queens and a couple of little workers to start him off and see how he gets on. Uh, I can't remember the species, but I will write it in the notes. 
Next up is another gift. We got a female Bahamas of a friend. Um, she's an adult female, ready to breed. And she wants it to go to good use, so we're going to try and make some babies. Uh, we've borrowed a male of our friend, Dave, from Mad Manx Exotics. And uh, the little male's in there. It's kind of hard to film him. But he's really cute. He's also mature and ready, so this will be our next breeding project, hopefully. And it should all go well. Okay, so this little big one here is one of the most exciting things I picked up at the show from my friend Leah over at Unusual Pets. She's a Chilean rose red colour form. Absolutely beautiful and one that I've wanted in my collection for so, so long. And I made up that I was able to purchase it, honestly, made my day. Beautiful little thing. And this little guy was Jace's favourite thing of the day. Um, given as a gift off Tron from Tron's Legs and Stings, it's a Lyocelli's Australasia, which is a pygmy wood scorpion. He was so excited to get this. Some more gifts that we got from um, Mark the Spidey Guy. Awesome dude. Um, he gave Jace this little Trinidad chevron. Jace loves his old worlds. I have to do the feeding, don't worry, but he loves watching his old worlds. Um, and he also gifted me this Rosia Red because everybody knows I've wanted one for so long and nobody knew I was picking one up from Leah. I'm absolutely made up though, I've got a sling and I've also got two chili rows. And this was the only thing on my wish list that I actually had for the day. <laughs> a little desert blonde. I finally managed to find one on the So Many Legs table. Uh, bargain at 15. Grab this little mature male, uh, Florida jumping spider from Michael and uh, Mantis and I. Um, he's going to pair up with our female that we still have. And we also got some sunny stick insects from Incredible Inverts at Phil. Uh, a male and a female, ready to breed. So that's going to be another fun breeding project. The female's massive. I was actually really surprised at that. Didn't think they would get quite so big. And while we're talking about breeding projects, here are two Bahamas. No, they're not. They are Blue Mountains. <laughs> we got a male and a female. I think they were from Spooderhut, but I can't remember. If it wasn't you, I apologise. Please let me know. Um, but there's the female. Beautiful orange colourings. Um, and the male, typical black and white, but still really, really cute. And the next thing is the Pagnoda Maginata, which is the Sun Beetles. Jace has already got two. Absolutely loves watching them. Um, so we picked him up three more from Leah at Unusual Pets. So all five are going to go together and hopefully make us some babies. Next up is actually a mystery. Um, we bought off a friend who has no idea what she is. She wasn't labelled when she collected her from a whole collection she bought. Um, but she's so pretty I couldn't say no. So yeah, we have a mystery. <laughs> if you know what she is, then let us know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to add a couple of other videos on the end of here of the different animals going into their new enclosures and just having a wander about. I hope you've really enjoyed watching our video. Um, what pickups did you get? Did you go? Did you have fun? Uh, what was your favourite thing of the day? And what is the favourite thing I got today? Let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks, like and subscribe. Have a great day.